everyone. This morning I'm going to tackle something that's called clothing safety in the winter. <laughs> I know you might say, huh? You know, but it's really important for you to dress appropriately in the winter, especially if you have diabetes, if you already have neuropathy or both. Um, and I'm going to explain why. I'm not a doctor. <coughs> I'm a social worker who worked in the medical field, so uh, there's a lot of things we learn. Um, it's, it's really important to not dismiss the temperatures. And, and this is the reason why, you know, some people say, oh, at least I don't bother with that because I don't feel anyway. <coughs> That's the problem. <laughs> because here in Wisconsin, we already dropped in the 30s. And if you have to go out, if you have to go out, you do not want any um, injuries or wounds in your feet. You do not. And I say diabetes or not, neuropathy or not, um, don't take the risk. You know, if you see it's winter, and it's very cold, the temperatures have dropped in your part of the world, the 30s, that's when you want to start making sure your feet and your hands are well covered. Some people tell me, oh, at least I have it, you know, I'm always hot. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you want to make sure that your skin is protected because of the fact that you don't feel and because of the fact that you won't be checking <coughs> for any degradation of your skin, then you're going to run into some serious problems. So 30 on down, that's when you want to start. I have some shoes on right now that I use in the house, and it just has mesh on top. It's very pretty. Um, <coughs> so... But if I go out, then I know I need to put on some warmer shoes because I don't feel I don't. I have some neuropathy in my feet and I don't want any skin issues uh, just because I said, nah, I don't feel anyway. So you really have to be careful with hands and feet. And of course, put on a jacket or a lighter jacket, but you don't want any skin problems. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. So... <coughs> If you don't have any shoes or you're going out with flip-flops and just tennis shoes, um, you really want to sports shoes. <laughs> you want to really select some warm shoes for going out uh, and make sure those toesies are covered and are warm. And, you know, it doesn't matter if, oh, I'm so hot, my feet are so hot, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so you really want to be safe and not having to run to your doctor and saying, oh my gosh, something's wrong with my foot. I have a wound on my foot. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? No, you, you really want to use this up here and make sure your hands and your feet are warm enough. So, you know, I showed some uh, gloves yesterday. <coughs> Used uh, some gloves yesterday. These have um, the... Uh, rubberized on one side and they are, you know, a light material on the other and they also are reflective material for evening. So now I use something much warmer than that. I use uh, a type of um, mittens, not gloves. Gloves don't work for me. My hands just freeze up <laughs> so, and they get very cold. So I have to use gloves. <coughs> um, let me, let me go get them. Let me, hold on. All right, so this is what I use. <coughs> so these gloves, I'm going to be heartbroken when I lose them because they're light and they're rubberized on one side and, you know, a light material on the other. <laughs> so, so the, and they're not heavy, but they are so warm. Um, the brand... It's called mech. I haven't seen them again, but at least you have an idea what they look like, you know. So rubberized on one side and, you know, light material on the other. 
but they are so warm, so convenient. They have strings, you know, if you need to hang them somewhere. <laughs> and they have the little snap in the middle. So they are just really convenient, and it's almost time for me to start using them because today is like 32 or something out there. Uh, and uh, let me let me ask uh, Alexa. Alexa, what's the temperature right now? Alexa. Alexa. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Huh? Today, expect <coughs> a high of 56 degrees. Yeah, so it's 34 degrees outside right now. When I woke up, it was about 32. So those are temperatures that even, even though I'm going from the door to the van, um, it doesn't matter. I still have to use these <coughs> because the van is cold. It takes a while to heat up. All that kind of consideration needs to be uh, placed. And then I have to get out, you know, from the van into the next building. So <coughs> I don't play around, you know, because I know I have neuropathy and I'm not going to feel when that skin starts to break down. So folks, you know, I would say 35 and, and below. <coughs> Some of us have ice storms, and I know you all don't go out in ice storms. <laughs> so you don't have to wear these. <laughs> but it, it's my recommendation to really protect that skin. Um, you know, you can use fashion or whatever. On the head, um, it, it's up to you if you don't want your ears to be damaged. I have cochlear implants, and uh, you know it's it's an implant, but I have an external piece, and they have batteries, and I don't want the batteries to run down, so I do <coughs> use um, muffs, ear muffs, uh, on to to protect the batteries, and to protect my ears, you know. Um, so. You can do that. Uh, anyone with hearing aids, just know that your batteries are going to run down faster in the winter, you know, if you don't put anything over them to protect them. So that's just a battery issue. And the ears, of course, the, the skin of the ears could get, you know, could get broken down and also you could end up with a wound. So you don't want to play with the cold. Um, so especially this would go out to uh, first-time wheelchair users. Uh, think about it, <coughs> you know, and especially for uh, this winter, you know, you can say to your family anything for winter, you know, gloves or warm shoes to go out. So it's, it's that kind of thing that it, you want to start preparing for. Here in Wisconsin, we're probably going to have our first snow in November <laughs> or Halloween. We've had snow in Halloween. So <coughs> if you live up north or you live, you know, in the Himalayas, <laughs> you've seen what they wear. <laughs> they don't fool around. <laughs> so if you live up north and it does snow in your area, uh, y you want to start preparing, you know, as a wheelchair user. Uh, if you don't have any feeling in your legs or you don't have any feeling in your feet or your hands, you really do want to um, prepare. So get a nice jacket um, or a, I use like a sweater <coughs> or a jacket, a light jacket, and then I use a poncho. I have a very warm poncho that goes over me um, and that keeps me really warm. Um, I think I've talked about it in the past. Let me see if I can uh, pull it out. Hold on. Okay, here it is. Let me check the brand here. Oh, it's all in Chinese. How about that? It's probably from China. <laughs> but I know there's a name somewhere here. But uh, as you can see, it is nice and fuzzy inside. And it has has a hood. So I can put this over me, you know, when I'm going from the door to the van. Um, I wish I could find the brand. But, you know, you can find very warm 
Um, and this covers my legs, by the way. It covers my legs completely. So this covers my legs. I have some warm shoes on. I can use the cap, the, the, the hoodie, and, you know, and I have something, you know, like a pullover sweater or whatever underneath. So this, this is what saves me, <laughs> and I love it. I, I wasn't sure it was going to work, but it did. Um, so anything like this warm, warm poncho, and underneath it's just really warm. It is, it's not, it's not um, waterproof, but it's water resistant. So any snow or whatever falls on me, I know it's just going to, I can just brush it off. So it's a very cool poncho. Uh, look for some, you know, on Amazon, see what you can find. This wasn't very expensive because um, I got it during a sale. So that's one of the clues to look for a, a sale or wait for a sale because during the holidays, as we approach the holidays, prices in, are going to uh, be brought down. So, so that's the cool time to, to get these kind of special things for yourself. So, or somebody can help you get them. <laughs> but that poncho, I love it. I absolutely love it because it just warms up really quick and it's, I wouldn't dare wear it in the house. <laughs> I'd probably roast. <laughs> but I do have a pullover sweater or something. Um, and then I have that on top of the sweater or I have a jacket and then that on top. So, um, and I'm toasty warm. So these are the, the advice I want to give to anyone who has to deal with winter weather. I don't know about people in the south. If it's ice storm, you're probably not going out anyway. So <laughs> but here in the north where we have snow and we have ice and we have anything that's called cold, refrigerator cold, <laughs> uh, we, have to, we have to dress up for the weather. So... Uh, I want to really drive this home for anyone who has neuropathy to, uh, or diabetes or any other condition that would affect, you know, in, in, I don't want to hear anybody saying, you know, oh, my feet are always hot or my hands are always hot. I'm not going to put anything, don't even go there. <laughs> the moment you end up with a wound, <coughs> And, and it just shows up very innocently, like a little cut, and then it grows from there. So you really don't want to go down that road because it's really hard to heal. Um, so I want you all to be safe, as always. So start looking for the clothes you need for winter. It can be one piece at a time. It can be two pieces at a time, but making sure that you are warm. And... Um, <coughs> See if you can find a poncho like that because it, it, it's just been worth it. Um, a, a stadium blanket also can help with the legs. Uh, so stadium blankets are just really, really warm and, and pretty pretty cheap. So and just wait for the price, prices to or sales to come around so you can get something that, that works for you. So, so I will... Um, leave it at that and any questions I'll try to find the brands and stuff um, that I found so to see if you want to try one product or the other and uh, you'll see they're nice and toasty they're light they're convenient for you know bringing with you so um, that will uh, that will keep you safe keep your body safe <laughs> all right take care and if you want to give me something for the holidays, subscribe, like, comment, and share this video everywhere. Take care. Bye-bye.